welcome to the garden. It's pretty much done for the year. Um, as you can see, uh, I've just finished picking what was left. It's towards the end of the season. We've got a few tomatoes here and a few chili peppers here. But uh, we can go look at the garden if you'd like to. These are some of my sweet bells that I grow. Uh, orange ones, red ones, and yellow ones. Now, if you want to look right here, this is one of my more unusual foliages on a pepper. Light and dark green stripes, just like the plant is. It's called a fish pepper. It's from Central Africa. Uh, another accidental cross-pollination I'm trying to propagate called a Choctaw Bell. Makes little bell paper shaped peppers, uh, yellow and extremely hot. Common thyme, or thymus vulgaris. Uh, very excellent in any kind of cooking, especially if a Cajun flair to it. Now here is a winter herb. Actually, it's more like in the onion family, even though it's really not. It's called a leek. Now, if you'd like to go into the kitchen with me, I will show you some of the things I make. Well, if you want to look around the kitchen, you can see the motif is basically chili peppers or southwestern or somewhere in between the two. But that's what motivates the spice of my life, if you will. That and my lovely wife who does the decorating. This is the dehydrator that I have for drying out my fruits, vegetables, and herbs. And right now, it's loaded with basil, and it's about done. Now, I'll pull a tray out so you see it, and it darkens as it heats and dehydrates. It can be the same color as most of your basil you buy in the store once it's done. These are some of the different colored bell peppers that I've picked and are allowing to ripen. As you can see, there's red and green and yellow and orange, and very pretty, no heat at all extremely sweet. I make jellies from my plum trees, which we didn't see, but they're out there. This is a red plum jelly. See how the light goes through it, and it's so pretty. Once again, we've come full circle. We're back to the garden. It won't be long before all of this is tilled under, and there's nothing but bare dirt and a cover crop springing up later this year to seal the soil for the winter. I encourage you to take this to heart no place are you closer to God and peace than in a garden where things are growing that you had a hand in. That's what it's all about. Learning what life is, furthering it, and benefiting from it. That's what a garden's all about. Try it yourself. You'll feel better. I guarantee you.